that God's plan of salvation is called his eternal purpose. What we're seeing take place today in terms of the unfolding of Bible prophecy relates to his eternal purpose. Now, when God reveals his eternal purpose, he does through covenants and biblical prophecy. And this is foundational to understanding this plan of the ages, this chronology. You've got the Abrahamic covenant in Genesis 12. And I don't know about you, but you know, that's foundational, isn't it? That Abrahamic covenant in Genesis 12 is foundational because we've got land promises to Israel, not the church, to Israel. You've got seed promises, including the fact that the Messiah would come from the seed of Abraham. And then you've got blessing promises, not only in terms of the Jewish people, but all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through the coming of the Messiah. And then you've got other covenants that expand upon the Abrahamic covenant, such as the land covenant in Deuteronomy 30, where very specific land boundaries are given for Israel. You've got the Davidic covenant, which speaks about the seed promises so that we know that the Messiah comes not only from Abraham's line, but from David's line as well. That's the main point of Matthew 1, a gospel written to Jewish people. And then finally, the blessings are expanded upon in the new covenant in uh, Jeremiah 31. These covenants are revelatory. They are revelatory. They tell us about the future. So some of what God reveals about his divine plan takes place through these covenants. God also reveals the future through his holy prophets, his own spokesmen. Now I want you to think about something with me. Have you ever considered how much of the Bible is prophecy? In the Old Testament, 23,210 verses uh, are found there, but out of that, 6,641 are prophetic in nature. That's 28.5%. That's a lot. Uh, in the New Testament, there are 7,914 verses, and out of that, 1,711 are prophecy. That's 21.5%. If you put it all together, we've got 27% of the Bible being prophecy. Now listen to me. There's people out there that I have talked to that say it's not important to study prophecy. Really? That's over one-fourth of the Bible. We're supposed to ignore over one-fourth of the Bible? It seems to me that if God has given prophecy in over one-fourth of the Bible, I, I kind of think God wants us to understand it. Don't you think so? 